Hello, this is Michelle with Paper Stamp Inc. Thanks for stopping by. I'm going to share with you today how to get three cards from just one six by six piece of pattern paper. I love my designer series paper. I love all the beautiful colors and patterns. And it's time to use up some of the retiring product because new items are coming out. So I'm going to be working through my designer series paper over the next few days. I hope you'll tune in. Make sure you hit that subscribe button if you haven't already and hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any videos. So let me show you the three cards that I have for samples and then we're gonna do three together. I have this happy birthday one and this, I left this intentionally very simple. You could definitely embellish it up if you'd like, but I wanted to share just a quick and simple. It doesn't always have to be, um, you know, just done up to the nines. And these are especially great for having some masculine cards or when you don't want something too frilly or with lots of embellishments to send through the mail. So that's card number one. Um, this is card number two and used uh, our pretty label punch that's retiring that makes me sad so make sure you get a hold of that if you're watching this before june 2nd and then this is the third card which i did put a little bit more in the way of embellishments on and this punch is another retiring punch the starburst that i use a lot and um that one is currently um on sale i believe on the clearance rack let me show you a couple or not the clearance rack the last chance sale but there are two smaller scalloped ones that I know those two are 60% off right now so head on over to my website hit, click the shopping link and pick those up if you're interested they're great for layering and I, I guarantee you're going to get a lot of use out of them um, not sure why they chose to to uh, retire those but uh, sad to see them go, but if you haven't got them, make sure you snatch them up. Use my host code. It's um, on the right-hand side of my blog, and I will put the um, code down below as well. And when you use that, um, you can qualify for free gifts from me when you order. So that free is always fun, right? So we're going to use some paper from that same um, designer series paper set, and I'm going to use this little uh, one with the lions on it. So I think these are just so cute. Great cards, especially for um, kids' birthdays. So we're going to take the 6x6 designer series paper, and we are going to turn it so that the bottom is facing to the right. Now this is important when you have directional paper, that you get the pattern facing the appropriate way. And we're going to cut that five and a half. So I'm just going to trim half an inch off, but let's do this actually I'm going to trim these and save us a step I'm going to trim two quarter inch strips so I put this at five and a quarter or five and three quarters and then five and a half so that's going to get me these two strips that we're going to use um, in just a moment and then I'm going to cut this piece down to four inches and I want to make sure on my two inch piece that I get one of these lions so I'm just being uh trying to be a little a little thoughtful to make sure I get one of him holding the balloons I like that design right there and now we're going to take this one and you could definitely do measurements um to get this uh angle cut but instead I like to just use the measurements already on my trimmer so I'm lining the top left corner up with the one inch mark and the um, bottom right corner up with the one inch mark. This does not have to be precise, so you can angle that more or less as you like, and that's gonna give us these two pieces. I'm gonna use this one as is, and this one we're gonna flip over and use on another card. And that's all the trimming that we have to do right now. I've cut down the other pieces for us just to make this a little faster. So let's go ahead and start with the simplest card first. And for that one, I am just going to put this piece of paper on a Mango Melody piece of cardstock. And I love the coordination with Stampin' Up! because it just makes it so easy. I think my glue is getting low. <laughs> makes it so easy to match up your colors. They always tell us in the pattern paper 
what colors coordinate. And so I'm going to just slide this up against that corner. I'm going to line up this, this edge and if you have a little bit where your measurements are off, just flip that over and cut off that excess. We're going to mount this right on a standard card base. And as you'll notice, I don't use a whole lot of this Tombow Multi glue. It's, it's actually the liquid adhesive. It's actually um, it's great. You don't need a whole lot to get that to adhere down. And I'm going to bring in my piercing mat because I'm, well, actually, I guess I don't need that. I'm not, this is a rubber stamp. I was thinking this is a photopolymer set. You can use any sentiment you want. I grabbed this one. Um, I just like the shape. It's from Here's a Card, which is actually a retired set, but, you know, use whatever one you have around. And I am going to go ahead and stamp that happy birthday on there. And looks like my mango melody pad might be getting a little a little worn out. I think it needs a little re-inking. So let's go ahead and bring this out and get a little bit better coloring there. So I'm going to go ahead and while I have this out, stamp our other two happy birthday sentiments. There we go. That's getting a little, a little bit darker. Definitely need to re-ink this one. But that's the great thing with these pads is you can re-ink them. Actually, I kind of like the way that gives me a little bit of a ombre look there on that. And I'm going to do one more just because I do like this little bit darker. And I'm going to put this one up further because I'm going to use a circle punch for that. I want to make sure I've got plenty of room. All right, let's close this up. So that I don't get ink on things that I don't want it to get on. I don't know if you guys have ever done that. <laughs> but I sure have. So let me go ahead and punch all of these out. With my various punches. So we have those all done. little bit close to the bottom of the paper but that is easy we are gonna fix that simply so that it doesn't look off center let's go ahead and come in and use that punch again and I am going to punch out a scrap piece of the mango melody and there's not a, a punch that is just slightly larger and especially when I'm doing a very simple card like this I like to have matted um, sentiments I just think that it it adds a little bit more to them so I am going to come in here and I just took that same size cut it down the middle and then we're gonna adhere these on each side I start in the back and then I like to flip them over and um, just kind of look on the front to get my my matting oops, my matting about even there and now we've got this uh, nice matted sentiment there we go and all we're gonna do with this one is we're gonna pop it up on some dimensionals And I like to use three and you could you know, put this wherever you like on here I kind of put it in the center the last time you could put it down here and you could add some other embellishments or um, punches or die cuts if you would like or you can leave it very simple put in the middle up to the top you kind of do where you would like it I think I'm gonna put it down 
down towards the bottom corner here. Now if you wanted to step these up, um, this one's about kind of simple and quick, this video, but if you wanted to step them up, use an embossing folder on that, that back panel. Um, put some ribbon across there to uh, add some more interest to the card or put a little strip of uh, ribbon or washi tape or um, just plain cardstock along there. But this one we're keeping just clean and simple. Let's go ahead and move on to our second card. And for this one, I have a piece of the um, Bermuda Bay cardstock. And let's go ahead and put our inside panel. Don't forget to line those cards when you're using these darker colors, especially as your card base, so that you can write in them and actually see what you got going on in there. And so I'm going to take this strip and I'm just going to give us a little bit of an edge. This doesn't need to be exact. Probably about a quarter of an inch is what I've, I've got there. But it's, you know, what is, um, whatever is pleasing to your eye. And yeah, I'm glad that gives me a little bit of, of give there because I shifted that piece slightly. Oh, good grief. <laughs> Let's try this one more time. Get that lined up and set down there and then I'm going to flip these pieces over and well I still don't have that lined up at the top do I thank goodness this Tombow Mono Multi gives me a little bit of wiggle room so let's try lining that up right along the edge there all right <laughs> I think I got it um, thanks for sticking with me and then I'm just going to put a small bead of glue down the sides there. Stick these strips on. This kind of frames that piece. I didn't worry about cutting these down and measuring them because we'll just trim off those extra edges and make sure I get back in the camera here. We'll just trim off those extra edges and then we don't have to do a whole lot of measuring and we know that it's going to be exactly the right dimensions right if we do it that way so i'll open this panel up make it a little bit easier to get to that and one more snip there we go and now we just need our sentiment piece and i'm going to do the the same thing as far as matting with this one as I did with the first one where we're going to take and cut this in half and add a little bit of adhesive on the back there we go let's flip it over to the front we can line those pieces up and give us an, a nice little border on there. And I'm going to bring in my trusty dimensionals again. And if you don't want to use dimensionals, you could definitely just put these flat on that card base. I, I have a, a slight addiction to the dimensionals, I would have to admit. I uh, like to use them to give some more interest and they're very inexpensive. So there we go. And I'm going to actually come in here and use some of these glitter enamel dots. And I'm going to put one up there just to help with that being, in my feeling, kind of slightly off center. Um, and I always like to do my embellishments in threes I just think or odds sometimes I'll do a five and that is card number two all right card number three last card these are so simple let's get that white panel in the center on the face there we go and then on this one I've got a strip this is about um I think it's about five and a half inches long. It was just a, 
a scrap piece that I had and it's a quarter inch, I believe a quarter inch, yep, quarter inch wide. And I'm just going to adhere this to the back to give us a little additional strip and we're going to cut those, um, a little matting strip basically. And then we're going to cut those extra pieces off again, you know, instead of stressing over we're um, getting the measurements exactly right. We're just going to put that on there. And you can make this as thin or as wide as you prefer. It's really a personal preference. I'm going to come in here and snip this off and snip that piece off. There we go and go ahead and hear this down to the front of our card and we are almost done with that one very quick and simple you can you can mix up the papers and the sentiments to get a totally different feel for your cards so much that you can do with these and i think i'm going to use a scrap piece of the bermuda bay for this one, for the matting, just to add a little bit more of that, that color in here. I love using circles because I don't have to figure out if it's a right side up or straight. And as long as it gets in the middle, then I can straighten it out on my card base. I'll throw some dimensionals on the back of this, and I'm going to bring in some more of those glitter enamel dots. I think they're great for just adding a little bit more interest. I, I wanted to stay away from um, things like the, the rhinestones um, on this card with this pattern. It just seemed um, a little, these are a little more fun to me, a little more kid oriented. And so that's why I chose the glitter enamel dots. But if you were doing a different type of card so again you can place this wherever I don't really care for it down there I do like to get it somewhat on the um, the other color you could also put it way way up here and make that stand out but I think I'm gonna kind of put it right towards the middle there and we're gonna bring in again some more of these enamel dots and this time I think I'm going to just simply line them up here if you don't have one of these handy dandy tools that i'm using this is the take your pick tool and i um, find it very handy for placing these little items here oops i'll try and get that one lined up a little bit straighter so just kind of going down graduating my sizes and going edge there to add a little bit of interest up in that corner so I hope that you found this enjoyable make sure that you stay tuned for more information and more video tutorials until we talk again grab your paper stamp and ink and do something creative